Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. Where are we going to go? What are we going to do? What are we going to make? Great news. We're going to go to Campania, Italy today. And we're going to have a recipe that is very traditional for that region of Italy. And it's delicious. And especially this time of the year, especially in that fall time, because we're looking for something that's going to be warm and hearty and filling and something that's just going to make us feel good. And it's going to have all those really those delicious flavors of Italy. So today we're gonna to make something really special. We're gonna take eggplant and we're gonna mix it with tomatoes along with some other goodies, obviously. And then we're gonna we're gonna hit that as a sauce with pasta. And it's gonna be just fantastic. Now this is also known as a side dish and that's gonna be melanzane e fungetto, which basically means eggplant and mushrooms, but there's no mushrooms, the eggplants basically take the appearance, the texture, the feel, the look of, of a mushroom. All right, so let's go over ingredients. Let's start having some fun. So first and foremost, we're gonna need some eggplants. So I've got here, it's just over two pounds, but ideally, you know, you're looking at about two pounds of eggplant. What a gorgeous, beautiful, colorful vegetable. And, a, and they're really a big main staple in, in Italian cooking. We're gonna need a shallot. Now you can use an onion if you don't have a shallot, that's fine. I love shallots, they're, they're French, they're, uh, uh, there's an elegance, there's a different flavor, there's a sweetness, softness, a little bit more earthy feel with a shallot. Uh, and I love the flavor when you saute a shallot over an onion. Next, we're gonna need some basil. Oh. You talk about aroma, aromatics. It screams Capri Italy, doesn't it? Capri Italy with uh, stuff so fresh it's falling all over the place. It screams Capri when you think of um, Caprese salad, which actually represents the colors of the Italian flag. There's some useless information for you, right? So we're gonna need a good bunch of basil. We won't use all that, but we'll use a good chunk of that. We're also gonna need some tomatoes. So I'm gonna use some cherry tomatoes. Traditionally, you can use really anything you want, but more often it's served with a smaller tomato in this case, or a small plum tomato, San Marzano tomato, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So we're gonna use about a pound of tomatoes, give or take, doesn't have to be exact. It's Italian cooking, guys, all right? Next, guys, we're gonna need some garlic. Oh, boy, if something doesn't just scream Italian cooking, right? So I'm gonna need two cloves, not the whole bulb, you know what I mean? Not to say that they would be a bad thing, but <laughs> I'm gonna use two cloves of garlic. Next, guys, we're going to need pasta. Now, you can pretty much do any kind of pasta you want, so everything's cool. Traditionally, it's going to be served with a spaghetti, and we want a thick spaghetti, okay? Not a, not a real small one like Cipollini or an angel hair. So it's going to have a little bit more girth to it. Bucatini is another one, which is great, which has got the hole in it, but this will be perfect. A nice, thick spaghetti, perfect pasta to pair or to marry with this eggplant dish. Next, you're going to need salt. I'm gonna use pink Himalayan. Why earthy briny? And it's sexy, pink is sexy. Next, we're gonna need fresh ground pepper. I know, I can't smell it. Oh, I can. I got the aroma there, I know. Some of you guys tease me because I love to get the aroma stuff. It gets me going, gets those juices going, right? So I want some fresh ground pepper, always best. Next, I'm gonna need olive oil. What do I want? I want something extra virgin. I want it from Italy because it's an Italian dish, obviously. I need it with a full body olive oil, right? With a grassy, earthy, peppery kick to it. Hmm, where would I go? Where's the best olive oil in Italy come? Oh, I know, it's Puglia, Italy. Ah, Vito and Joe's, I got it, yes. So listen, anybody new to our channel, and I know some of the guys that aren't new to our channel, <laughs> you've heard it a few times, but I own a farm in Italy, it's right above the heel in Italy, and I named the company after my two sons, Vito and Joe. And if you hit the link above or below, or go to my Facebook page, or my cooking page, cookingitalianwithjoe.com, just click the link, hit buy it now or shopping, buy it now, and you can get yourself a couple of bottles or more of olive oil. We'll drop ship it right to your front doorstep. Uh, you know, I like to call it a trip to Italy uh, right in the bottle. All right, guys, what do you say? Let's get cooking, let's start making something delicious. First step, we wanna prep our eggplant. We wanna cut these up into small little cubes. First thing I wanna do, guys, is just get that top peeled back on the eggplant. Just cut the top off. And we're gonna leave the skin right on. So I'm gonna cut this guy right in half. Oh, look at that, so beautiful, spongy, fresh, gorgeous. I'm gonna take that bottom piece, cut it out. Now I wanna cut this up and dice it into small cubes. So the easiest way that I found to do this is I'm gonna cut this in strips. So we're going about a half inch maximum, and then I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna cut squares. So ideally, we're looking for something no bigger than that. Again, that's gonna cook down quite a bit. There's a lot of moisture in that. And then as soon as you get to this one section where it's starting to get thick, 
separate what you've already cut off to the side and then cut these down. And then I'm going to lay that on the side and I'm going to cut it down. Again, I'm looking for something that's cubed about a half inch. So then I just peel these down and then I just put a slice right through the middle of them. So they're all coming in a nice perfect little cubes, perfect little perfect little squares. And as I cut everything up, I'm going to put everything in a bowl. Guys, our eggplant are cubed up, ready to go. Next, I'm going to get my shallot going. Simple, guys, I'm going to cut my shallot right down the middle. I'm going to put two slices down the center, and then I'm going to go ahead and just cut it right back. So we're looking for about a half inch tops, a little slice of onion that's going to saute down. Next, guys, I'm going to take my garlic, give it a quick smash. So I got two cloves of garlic in their medium size. Easy way to get the skin off if you're just doing a couple small pieces. Believe it or not, some people don't like garlic. I don't quite understand why. So here's some dating advice. You go out, somebody says, ooh, your hands smell like garlic. I don't think I like garlic. I say, I don't think I like you. You know what I mean? I mean, let's be honest. You can start making dishes without garlic in it to satisfy somebody? No, it's not worth it. Listen, when those three months of infatuation are over, You'll start thinking clearly, you know what I mean? Now guys, I'm gonna take a saute pan. I'm gonna take about three, four tablespoons of Vito and Joe's olive oil. Oh, doesn't that look good? There you go. Put a little more in, what the hell? And now I'm gonna take my garlic. I'm gonna put that right in my pan. I'm gonna take my onion, put that all in my pan. I'm gonna put the heat on medium, and I'm gonna give it a nice stir. And that's gonna allow us to infuse some delicious flavor in the oil. And then we're gonna set the onion and garlic aside when we fry the eggplant. While the onion and garlic are sauteing, I've got to blanch these plum tomatoes. I've got to blanch the cherry tomatoes and get them ready to peel. Now, some recipes I see, you're going to peel the cherry tomatoes. I'm like, what are you, freaking crazy? Like, I'm going to peel each one of these? Shoot me now, right? Listen, that's why they made one of these, guys, a food mill, okay? That's why you have a food mill. You don't peel these individually. So we're going to blanch them just to get those skins kind of loose, start the cooking process. And then I'll show you, we're gonna run them right through the food mill. So this pot is boiling water and I'm not gonna fork them and I'm not gonna cut them a little bit. I'm just gonna throw them right in. So just take the whole bowl, throw them right in there. As Soon as you put them in there, guys, take your dish right here and fill it with nice cold water. Then I wait till it just starts to boil a little bit and then I know that I'm gonna take them out. I don't wanna cook the tomatoes. I just wanna loosen the skin a little bit so it's easy to run through the food mill. Now guys, the shallots and garlic are sauteed just perfectly. Now I wanna strain out the shallots and the garlic from the oil that's infused with that flavor. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a pyrus. I'm gonna take something that can handle the heat. So make sure whatever you put it in can handle the heat. I'm just gonna take a strainer and I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that right in so I'm only getting oil. Oil is fully strained out. I've got the onions. I'm gonna set the onions aside because I want that for my sauce. Now I've got this delicious oil infused with the garlic and the shallots. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that right in my dish. And guys, I'm gonna need a little bit more Vito and Joe's olive oil now. So a good another four to five tablespoons and I'm gonna bring that oil up to temp. So maybe a quarter inch on the bottom of that pan will be beautiful. Now I've got to heat up and I wanna get that ready for frying. So I want it a good 300 degrees. The good news here on my tomatoes, see how they're splitting? So normally on a larger tomato, you're gonna put a cross on the bottom of the tomato, you know, we call it give it the blessing, right? But in this case with the cherry tomatoes, you're not gonna do that. They're small, that'll be easy. And what I'm looking for here is the skins just start to ripple, and they are, so that's absolutely perfect. So I've got my dish here of cold water, and I'm gonna take a ladle of my tomatoes, and I'm gonna put them in the cold water. Guys, we're getting ready to fry our eggplant. I wanted to go over a couple of quick tips. One, one of the reasons I use this pan, see how it's got an edge to it? So it's a little higher, so it helps prevent any type of spray, you could put a screen over the top, but just be careful, you're dealing with hot oil and there's a lot of moisture in the eggplant, so you gotta watch it because you, you don't want it to spray back. Secondly, you don't have to do all the eggplant all at once. So in this case, we're probably gonna do two batches. I'm gonna take a dish here, I'm gonna put a couple of paper towels in it. So as I take the eggplant off, I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna season it. Now, if you're thinking about those tomatoes and we blanched them, we did, and we've got that hot water over here. Remember, we gotta cook the pasta. So another tip there from Nona Caroline Borio, use that water that's already infused with the, with the tomato flavor, and I'm gonna actually cook the pasta right in that dish. So I'm gonna season it with salt, and I'm gonna put the pasta right in that tomato water. A Couple other important tips that make this come out, mwah, molto delecio, is when you subscribe to the channel. So there's a red button right down there. So when you click it, it makes you a member of the channel. Hey, that's pretty cool, right? Any trips, recipes, trips to Italy, blogging with Borio, it'll come right to your notification box when you click that red bell. So click the subscribe, 
click the red bell. Hey, make your part of the family. You know what I'm saying? As far as the olive oil goes, I'm sure you already, wait a minute, I can hear it. Oh, you already ordered it. I can literally hear it being shipped to your house. All right, it's not funny. I think it's funny. All right, what do you say? Let's start frying some eggplant. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna throw about half of my eggplant in there, and then I'm just gonna spread it out. This won't take too long, but we're looking for just brown, not black, just kind of a brown crisp, so it'll get soft and gooey first, but you gotta make sure it's hot. Guys, you see how you're getting a nice browning right there? That's exactly what we wanna do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a slight stir, and be gentle, because it'll start to get soft on you. Get everything nice and crispy. Guys, it's been about six, seven minutes. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my eggplant, give it a good drain, and then real easy, I'm gonna throw it in my paper towel dish. Eggplant is perfect. Now we're going with our next batch. So guys, our eggplant is done. Now guys, I've taken my pan, I've wiped it down, put a couple of tablespoons of fresh Vito and Joe's olive oil in it. Remember the shallots and garlic I set aside? I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back in my oil. Now we're gonna construct that sauce. So guys, I got my tomatoes in my food mill here. And real simple guys, I'm gonna take my food mill and I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns. This will take literally a minute. Beautiful. Now guys, I've got my tomatoes pureed. I've got the garlic, I've got the shallots. I've got some beautiful Vito and Joe's oil. And now I'm gonna heat that up. For a good 10, 15 minutes, guys, our water with the tomato flavor is starting to bubble and I got it seasoned. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my thick spaghetti. I'm gonna pop it right in there and give it a nice stir. While the sauce is simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and take some black pepper. We're looking for at least a teaspoon of black pepper and a good heavy pinch of salt. So about a half a teaspoon and then give this a nice stir. To back to my sauce. I've got the heat on really low at this point. Now I'm gonna take my eggplant and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it right in the sauce and give it a nice gentle stir. Now again, be gentle because the eggplant's gonna be soft. So I don't wanna look to break the eggplant up. Now guys, remember my basil? I'm gonna go ahead and take a bunch of basil and just stir it right in my sauce. Just put the whole leaf in there. As soon as I put the basil in, I shut the heat off. I don't want to cook the basil. I want to just have it release its flavor and with the oils and the heat. Oh, the aroma right now is just incredible. All right, guys, our pasta is done. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right in my dish. Don't worry if you get a little pasta water in there. That's good. It'll thin out our sauce just a little bit. Guys, with our sauce done, I'm going to go ahead and take my eggplant sauce and put it right over the top. And guys, I want to finish this off with some Parmesan cheese. How fantastic is that? Oh, is that beautiful or what? Oh, oh, oh the aroma of that, guys. All right, so favorite time, taste time. Give it a good twist. And then get some sauce. And yes, guys, I got hit it with a little bit more Parmesan. Oh, that's good. Get a little swirl of pasta. Get one or two pieces of the eggplant. I wish I could give it to you. I'm working on that cooking at Town with Joe taste of vision smell-o-vision right now. Oh, the first thing I hit you is the eggplant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. The pasta is perfect. The first thing that's hitting you right now is the tomatoes. And it's nice and soft and subtle. You get the shallot, you get the garlic, you get that olive oil, which is delicious. And then as you're chewing it, you know, you're getting the flavor of the, of the eggplant, and now you're biting into it. It's perfect, because the eggplant's got a little bit of a body to it, but it's soft, mm. and it just marries with all the other flavors. And it finishes with that flavor of the eggplant and the shallot and the tomato. And now I'm getting that basil right near the end. Mmm. You get that cheese, that Parmesan Reggiano, you know, just, just to hit the top of it. I gotta have one more, just to appropriately taste this for the viewers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a better bite than the first one. You guys, thanks so much for taking a trip to Campania, Italy with me in my kitchen today. Wasn't that fun? You guys, now remember, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Click, click. Just heard you do it. Boom. Thank you. Hey, make you part of the family. It means a lot to me, guys. And before parting, if you haven't already, hit the link above or below or visit us on Cooking Italian with Joe, either the Facebook page or the web page. Click buy it now, we'll drop ship you a bottle of extra virgin Italian olive oil right to your front doorstep. And guys, my most important tip, in fact, really the, the reason that I do these videos is I want you to get in the habit of once a month or a couple times a month, spend time with your family in the kitchen, you know, get around the table and play some music. And I was playing Jerry Vale today, right? And have some fun and I'll tell you, celebrate your heritage. And most importantly, guys, set some traditions that last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.